piece. When I was 10 years old, I very first started moose hunting with my father. They're going to try to go this way around on me often because they don't want to come in front of my hide that I haven't done that great of a job with. I mean, you can only hide so much in a black field, right? When we're guiding, we really, it's us shooting it isn't part of the equation. It's everybody else shooting. Now, when you're on your own, every man for himself. You know, all your buddies, every man for himself. And that's why you need to know I've got a great collar, a good hunter, a decent collar. But if you plug fast and get them to center back across, they often, with the excitement, and if you mix a flag in there, it'll bring them right out across. Heck, if you don't have a flag, if you grab your hat and wave it, they often will pick that movement up and move back. As they do that, as they come back across, I slow it back down. And then I stop because I don't want them to pick off anything that I'm doing wrong. These folks that he said we hunt up in Michigan have been hunted very hard by a lot of guys. They're super, super smart. 1985 when we've had a local season. 85. It's the first place in the country to be able to shoot local geese. These guys live through a lot. We've killed 21 year old things. When they're coming at me, I'm not calling. I'm not doing anything. At best, I'm hitting a flag. You know, I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm keeping quiet. I mean, you can do the gaveling and the quiet feeding chuckles and that sort of thing. And it makes you feel real good if you can do it. They come and knock right down on you. So if a duck is circling me and he's going to go land over there, the first thing I do is do what you, all, you hear all the competition callers open their segment with, and all I do is go. I just yell at them real hard. I sound ridiculous. But what that does is those birds are starting to work not where I'm at, so I can't shoot them and lift a duck right up. And you come to the learned that if you know how to call and you can talk to them, that will change your life. It's one of those things which is number four, and, and that is all the fancy, excellent decoys that they make now, the incredible decoys that they make now, the excellent calls that they make. Um, all the yeah, this is Neil from the uh, Outdoor Channel Outfitters. He's the host to uh, Outdoor Channel Outfitters on Outdoor Television. Uh, uh, what is my opinion on letting birds land in the spread as they come in? Most, the mo you'll have the most success if you shoot every single bird that comes in. I don't care if it's a single, or if it's three, or if it's four. And there's 4,500 behind you. Because you're guaranteed that bird. You're not guaranteed those. And a bird in your hand in this is nine times out of ten better. Now, that said, right around the corner, I'm on the one, one, three, four, around the corner from the outdoor channel. If you want to talk to me about anything yeah, in regards to that or, or what it is I do, I'd be more than happy to do it. I appreciate you very much for sitting and listening to me. Do you think you have?